morning friends diana here from garden love i wanted to show you guys something we trimmed this tree because it was overgrowing the leaves or branches were almost touching the ground plus we couldn't see our beautiful wagon there anymore that we hope to eventually refurbish one day but for now it just looks pretty so i saved some branches and what i'm going to do with these branches is basically just trim them and I'm gonna put them inside my coop because I noticed that my chickens all love to roost in the branch I already put in there however there's not enough space for all of them to do it all at once and I want to make sure that everybody has space to do it so what I'm gonna do is just basically cut all of these little branches and bring it in so let me show you guys the little ones this is a pretty nice one I need to sharpen my tools but for now this will do so we're done with this side now we gotta trim this Super easy, just tedious. Almost done, almost done. Get these out there. Here are the last few branches. Now this is obviously too big for the coop, but we're gonna take it to measure it and see where we need to cut so it can fit. I like the way this is because it's like a Y. That means that they can roost on both sides. So let's go take it to the coop and see how it looks and fits. Here we go, we let the girls out. Yeah. I put this because we do have a storm coming and I know that a lot of water keep getting in there so. I'm doing what I can to prevent it from it getting. Let's see what we can do here. Oh. This is obviously too big. So we're going to cut it. to walk through here I'm going to put their feeder here I still have access to reaching it and let's see if they like it, it should be sturdy mm. Mm. maybe it's not as sturdy this branch is a little bit too flexible I wish we would have left this one. So let's see what I can do. Either way, friends, I have another branch over there. I'm going to trim it, see if that one fits better. Um, they seem to be loving it. I hope this gives you guys an idea on how to help your chickens who are in a run, especially when they're stuck in a run because it's raining or bad weather, or you can't necessarily watch over them because um, you can't let them out because of uh, predators. 
this is a good way to keep them busy and sharing and all of them being friendly so i'm going to continue to work this and i'm sure in another video i'll show you guys how it turned out i hope you guys have a blessed day i'll see you in the next one